Hey, it's Michael of Ilpondo with Team Lionel Bursa Hathaway Home Services. So I'm at a cool flip property. I've already gone through it and I recommend popping out the bathrooms and redoing the bathrooms and updating the kitchen. There's going to be a lot of paint work in there. They've used stickers and stuff like that in the uh, bottoms of those shelves and everywhere. So otherwise, the outside of this house is pretty nice. It's a brick home, four bedroom, two baths, 2,100 plus square feet, almost 2,200 square feet. And the roof is like brand new on it. But anyway, let's focus on the inside. So going in, I would like to see that like all this floor be popped up. It just doesn't doesn't match. And then you, it looks like it had some water damage, or then they over sanded it at one point. Not real sure. But you've got this cool closet in, in here, shelving. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so it's the back of it's like a like you put drinks and stuff in there. Uh, these are cool. I'd save these for sure. Had some damage up there, somebody fixed it at one point. It looks like water damage. So I'd say they probably put the roof on it, preserved the house. It was probably getting water in it. Um, <clears throat> bedroom one, this is oil-based paint in here too, so it, it would take um, a lot to get that done. So again, popping this out right in here and redoing that. Bedroom number two. So he says stepped some flooring in here. Kind of odd that they did it like that. Cool built-in shelf. Uh, this floor could be sanded, do a really dark stain. Um, I, I always prefer doing the dark stain whenever redoing these floors in here because it'll hide imperfections and just bring it, bring it to some really good colors, especially if you're using light grays, whites. Um, all right, so moving on in here, I think this would be the owner's retreat on this side so it has its own walk-in shower which that that could be redone it's kind of closed off in there and there's no light in there as well all right let me look at these plugs are they two they're they're three prong good to see no two so they're non-grounded plugs uh weight around that is a gfci at the first plug on the circuit um that's a way to get around some of that so one two three let's see if we get lucky and get the fourth bedroom over here again just pulling up all the floor in here and getting consistent with it so i see a step down we're probably gonna walk into a bedroom here and we're not it is a bedroom all right so this is like a just an addition there's no power okay so this is an out of the box unit that can be put in here. Um, washer dryer, part of a closet. Not, it steps down. You gotta be careful on the step downs like that. Let's go check out outside real quick. That door will not open. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Here. All right, I'll catch up with you in one second. Let's see. Open this up here. All right, so we, backyard. Let's see what we got. Nice and fenced in. Built in barbecue pit. Again, the roof is good. So, um, with that room being on the side like that, I would, uh, might want to. Do something different here. So it's an addition. See where they poured the slab right there? So they poured it, tied in the brick, and added this portion on. But anyway, so that's what I wanted you to see is, is the inside of it and see how things are laid out. Um, see some of the challenges in order to get you know a good value for this property in the future. But anyway, uh, reach out to me. Let me know what you think.